Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in World 2, so why don't we do Sawmill Thrill? I think this one is also a minecart stage. Alright, so this one has five puzzle pieces, and I think this one has a secret exit as well. So there we go, we find ourselves our first puzzle piece right off the hop. Not bad. Okay, I haven't really done much practice with this stage. Hopefully I don't mess up. Oh, we actually go inside the uh, sawmill, of course. The music here sounds pretty neat. Sounds pretty, like, dangerous. I mean, you're dealing with a bunch of saw blades after all. That shows the right path there. Okay, there we go. Figured I'd make a small hop there in case I sh overshot that. Oh, now you're right, a piece of wood. That's actually pretty neat. I actually like that effect. Oh, gotta use the, uh, the weight of the piece of wood to help you out. And there you go, that's how you get the letter in. Oh, puzzle piece is actually in here. They tried to hide that from you. I must say, that is a bit clever. Ooh, almost got impaled by that piece of wood there. That would have been a bad way to get a colonoscopy, am I right? And there's a bonus stage right here, even though I got hit in the process. Sometimes sacrifices had to be made. There we go. If I if I get them in a certain way, at least they'll be lined up so I can get them in a straight jump. Oh, I might have to do this in three jumps. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Managed to nail that completely. Good job. And I get my health back. Who ever thought the bonus stages would heal you? Apparently they do in this game. And all of a sudden I have a minecart again. I don't know how that came to be, but it did. I'm not going to question it. Oh god, I gotta be careful here. Oh, there's the last puzzle piece. Alrighty then. Okay, this part could be a bit tricky. Because, obviously, the uh, rail cart is not staying on. Oh, shoot. Undershot that jump there. But at least I know now how to get the letter G. And every time you get a checkpoint, you're obviously standing on ground, but you can jump to the cart. Alright, let's try this again. At least I don't want to get the puzzle piece again. But obviously I know how. Oh well, if I'm getting extra coins this way, it doesn't hurt if I die. Alright, try to get that G. That's better. Oh, I'm supposed to, like, make a big hop there. I think that's how you get that secret exit. Doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. If I mess up that jump, then obviously I'd go for the secret exit. And there you go! Oh, I did that too early. Okay, I didn't get any uh, cell phone calls or texts there. Otherwise, it probably would have picked up on the mic. And there we go, there was nothing to it. Alright, we can go to 2-5 Alpine Incline right now. But I think we should go back and get that secret exit, so I'll meet you at that point. Okay, this time we'll actually do it without dying. That's usually the better choice. There, that's better. You go straight to the wormhole that way. And you can find bananas in these. I almost messed that up there. Grab the coin, please. And more banana formations over here. This one also gets you a coin. What happens if you climb up here? Any? Okay, you can climb that. Good to know. And that just takes you back to the normal exit. Obviously, we don't want to do that again. Because we already did that. 
And there you go. That's how you get the secret exit. I didn't bother with the Kong letters. I already grabbed them. Okay, so with the secret exit, you can now go to this way. Crumble Cavern. Uh, why don't we buy some stuff from Funky first? We got the coinage. Why not? Okay, so... Why don't I get a Crash Guard? I only need one, though. I'll buy... Two more Squawkses. And I'll... Oh, you're out of stock. Guess I'm not getting any of these for a while. Um... What should I do? I'll buy a banana juice. Just because I'm buying it now doesn't mean I'm going to use it right away. But it's good for the event of an emergency. Why don't we do Crumble Cavern first? And I'll take a Squawks with me. Remember, if it makes me getting like all the puzzle pieces easier, so be it. Oh, this level looks beautiful already. Uh, seven puzzle pieces? That should not be anything to worry about. Can't really do anything with those mushrooms. Alright. I'm not the Mario. He can have the shrooms for all I care. So why do they call this place Crumble Caverns anyway? Is this cavern gonna crumble? Seems pretty stable so far. Oh, I think I might need this barrel. Oh, probably for that. Alright. Oh, it's telling me that it's near here. Should I climb upward? Oh, there it is. Hey, I did it! I did not need squawks after all. Granted, it was just for the first puzzle piece of this level. I'll probably need them for others. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Can't believe that dude jumped on me! I was planning to jump on him! That's karma. Oh, okay, I do see a barrel over there. Oh, get the K, you idiot. There you go. That's the first part of your name. You should be getting that easily. Oh, shoot. Oh, that uh, stalactite got in the way. Get out of here. Bonus time. Have I had this one before? Yes, I did. That's the one with the trampolines. I was gonna say, like, the trampolines of the bananas, but they all have bananas. Get that one. Oh, that's gonna cost me some time right there to trying to get to that particular, uh, banana. Oh, shoot. This one could be a problem. And I failed. Great! I gotta do that one again. I think that's the first bonus stage that I actually failed. Let's see if I can snag some other puzzle pieces. You know, before I get the checkpoint. Okay, I see what I need to do here. Well, other than that, that's not gonna help me. I need that guy with the helmet. Yeah, this guy. I need to grab him, and then just throw him into the bag. There we go. I can pretty much uh, take care of that now, so let me just kill myself on purpose. And then we'll try for that bonus stage again. Because I don't know if I get the first checkpoint, I can go back. If I can't, then I'm better off doing what I just did. Alright, so let's try this again. And this time, don't mess up. Remember, the letter K was somewhere around here. You're not gonna Mario me this time. That's better. Alright, let's attempt this a second time, and hopefully for the last time. Like, that part over there is super easy. Oof, that could have been a bad landing right there. 
That could have been no landing at all. Okay, this part may not be so bad now. Uh-oh. Oh, almost missed the trampoline completely! Oh, thank God, that puzzle piece spawned right next to where I was too. Because it looked like I was about to miss the bottom trampoline. I didn't want to do that for a third time. You notice the bananas and that heart there actually went into the holes of cheese? That's actually a pretty neat touch. Oops. Hmm, there's a puzzle piece right here. Oh, wow. I think I should, like, get all the bananas. Yep. Yeah. Squawks is getting super excited every time I shoot myself up there. I did it! Oh, this part is actually looking pretty cool. You can break up parts of the cave this way. Oh, I can get a partner here. Uh, yeah, I think Dixie's the safe bet here. If there's gonna be pitfalls. Also, she makes this part a little bit easier. Okay, so if you grab onto these ropes and then you let go... Okay, they just shift by your weight. So they'll drop eventually. I guess that's what they mean by crumble. Actually, I think it's easy to tell which ones will crumble. Like, the ones that are really green will not crumble. These, however, because they look dried up and rotten, will. Oh, that fireball only lasts for a limited time. Nothing else up here? Okay, I just wanted to check that to be sure. Uh, I think I'd rather go this way. Um... Uh... Will it matter what path I've taken? Doesn't look like it. Gotta time myself carefully. Oh, okay, I see what's happening here. Oh, Squawks, you see something? You do! Okay, that was a bad decision on my part. I think I have to collect all the bananas in a row again. Okay, I don't have to be fast for this part, because it doesn't look like this entire cavern is crumbling yet. Okay, can I get any of those bananas over there? Like, really now? Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous here. Oh my lord. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god, that took forever. Okay, it looks like this part's really crumbling. Gotta go fast. There we go. Whoa. Why is it zigging like that? Oh, you gotta time yourself for this. This looks so dangerous. Okay, I did not miss the G. That would have made me feel so bad. There's one more puzzle piece. I don't have to, like, get all these bananas, do I? I don't think so. Oh, that was actually a really nice shot. Huh. Even with Squawks, I missed a puzzle piece. Where did I miss it? You didn't even tell me where it was. Bird's letting me down here. What the hell, Burb? You should tell me where the puzzle piece was. You were nowhere to be heard. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention. Well, at least we opened the way to Rodent Ruckus. That's a pretty nasty name if there ever was one. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go back and uh, find where the puzzle piece was, so I'll let you know where it was. Alright, we made it to the point there where I missed the puzzle piece, so you have to take the top path. And the reason why I don't have Squawks with me is because this is actually my second attempt at this. Okay, I see what I need to do. You gotta aim for a barrel that's hidden. You gotta shoot towards the barrel in the center. 
and let's see, it's hidden by a rock wall. So you gotta aim for that one up there. And then you gotta shoot upward to get here. See, it's very well hidden, so that's why I missed it a couple times. And uh, when I played uh, the run with Squawks, I actually messed it up and shot the wrong barrel. And unfortunately, it lands you right next to a checkpoint, and you activate it automatically. So I couldn't just kill myself and then try again. I had to restart the whole level. Unfortunately, my use of Squawks is now gone. Which sucks, but at least now we have all the puzzle pieces, so I will just have to finish this level again. So just give me another little while. Okay, so with that out of the way, we can finally go to Rodent Ruckus. Alright, so this is the last level I'm going to do, and then I'm going to call it an episode. I usually try to squeeze in, like, at most three levels at a time. Otherwise, the videos would be way too long. And I feel that two videos might be a bit too short. So, let's do it! Oh, nothing hidden in the wall. Alright. Hey, what's this? Oh, that secret room was not very secret at all. I think they stopped trying with that one. Again, Dixie makes these bonus stages a hell of a lot more manageable. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything about that rocket barrel one. The one that keeps shooting you in that diamond thing. It just bounces you back. But, oh well. Any free puzzle piece you can get easily... Especially if this stage is five, it's good enough for me. Alright. Stupid rats. You got lucky there. Oh, it's this kind of stage. If you hold the jump button, you'll be able to go up. Release it and you'll go back down. Huh, they even got the same music from the first game. Wow. Oh, there's cheese here and everything. Holy crap. I love my cheese, but not when it's trying to kill me. And I missed that puzzle piece, so let's try that again. Alright, so... Luckily, you do retain, like, two hits on this, uh, rocket instead of, like, the standard one from the first game. Like, I remember in the first game, if you hit something even once, you die. That really sucked. So they made it a little bit more manageable. Okay, there is that puzzle piece I tried to get. Oh! I should have made a faster decision there. And then I got guillotined by a piece of cheese. I mean, I love cheese, but not when it's trying to kill me. I mean, give me something that's good, you know? That's good -a. <laughs> Well, I guess that much kind of cheese to eat will slowly kill you eventually from within, but, you know. All in moderation. Alright, let's try this again and hopefully not screw up. It's so easy to lose control of the rocket barrel, let's be honest. Unfortunately, you do have to get the Kong letters again, but you don't have to get all the puzzle pieces again unless you exit the level before finishing it. Look at these guys! They're able to, like, carry cheese that's just thrown right at them! Oh. Oh, I almost went right over that. Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh, puzzle piece, puzzle piece! Oh! That big is early. Why did you kill yourself? I was right there. Well, I have right reasons, okay? And I got three puzzle pieces already. Sadly, there are some puzzle pieces in which you're required to get all the bananas. So it can be very easy to miss some as a result. Oh, I missed the end too because of that rat. Oh, well, I guess that's actually a mouse. Mice are known for eating cheese. What are rats known for eating? Garbage? <laughs> or anything else? Mice are just picky eaters then. If we're looking at it that way. To be fair, they can't ask you to get all the bananas there if you can't see them all. Oh my god, I made that same mistake again! I was too busy dodging the mice that I missed the puzzle piece. 
luckily the checkpoint was like really close to the last one. I find it weird that the checkpoint was so close. Should have closed the window there. Oh my god, that's bullshit again. How does my rocket barrel get damaged from a mouse? I can just plow it down. I'm coming at it with full force. And yet a mouse is able to break it down. I think that should be possible. That's better. Now we can make progress again, and this cave is actually well lit. Uh, thank you, piece of cheese, there for your patronage. Oh god, it's dropping more cheese. Oh man, I bet you it's gonna be easy to miss something here. Faster than the cheese this time. Hopefully I made the right choice there. Oh, no, no. I missed the G. I have to die. Oh, man. I didn't see the fifth puzzle piece either. That worries me a great deal. What if I missed it? I hope I didn't miss it. We got this. We're not gonna miss the puzzle piece this time. Maybe we didn't see it yet. I'm hoping we never saw it. Man, this cheese is not very durable. If it's breaking up like this. There we go. Now we got the G. Oh, there's balloons here. Um, I do not see a puzzle piece. Oh, wait, I think I see where it is. You gotta do, like, a rolling jump to get there, otherwise you won't have enough air time to grab it. You, you will just die. <laughs> and then all your progress will be for naught. Alright, so that level is now completely clear. Alright, that took a few tries, but we got it. And, uh, there's still a little bit of, uh, World 6 to do. Not World 6, World 2. Well, there's a lot to do in World 6, because we haven't even started it yet. And apparently this path over there, I think, takes you straight to 2-6, Wing Ding. Well, I'd like to do 2-5 first, obviously. So that is what we will do in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.